Hey folks, uh, it's been a while. Um, this video is to tell you about some cool stuff, educational stuff. When I first got into the internet back in 96, I found a great uh, weekly uh, email letter, uh, which hopefully some of you know about. It's called Scout, and I'll put the information up in the box there. And the Scout report, uh, what it does is it tells you all the cool stuff that happens up on the web. I think it's like every week. And one of the things that was shown recently, I looked at it and I just got around to checking it out, uh, it's called uh, Miro. And uh, this is the piece of software that's kind of behind me here, which I'm now going to show you. Basically what it does is it downloads a whole bunch of videos, and some of them are in high definition. And it's really easy to set up, and it's free. And what it has over here, this is the Miro guide, so it's loading now. Uh, you can have it fill up the whole screen. Uh, I'm just showing a part of it, just to show the idea. And it's got different categories of channels, a whole bunch of them, in fact. Here's some categories over here. Just to give you an idea, there's more there. And the total number of uh, channels is over 5,000 channels in all different areas. The cool thing about it is, is that you can do searches for all those different channels over here. There's a library of what's already downloaded. And it, it's really, really neat because what happens is, is that it takes care of all the hassle uh, for you. In other words, everything gets downloaded in the background. And you can still channel surf, download videos, and everything. At least on my machine with a fairly high internet connection, fast internet connection, I notice no interference. And it uses BitTorrent technology and stuff. It's absolutely great. And so what you have is you have a library of things that are already uh, downloaded. And uh, it stores everything for five days. Um, and then if you don't watch it, it takes it off your hard drive automatically. And uh, so here's some of the new stuff that's just coming in. And it will also tell you what's downloading over here. Democracy Now! I need to check out some more. Uh, it might be uh, super, super liberal. I don't know. Um, I'm moderate. But I watch all sorts of stuff, including Fox News. Oh, my God. Uh, but only at 6 p.m. Um, uh, that's Special Report with Brett Hume. Um, okay. Uh, let's see what else we got over here. Uh, well, it's, it's got stuff about using uh, uh, Moreau, but I haven't looked at any of it. It's totally easy to understand. Here are some of the channels I've subscribed to. Um, it shows you everything that's downloaded in green and uh, what's being downloaded, and it is just an absolutely uh, terrific program. As I said, it's free, and also uh, they have a thing where you can donate some money. You know, give them 10 or 15 bucks. It's, it's really super stuff. Um, the other thing is I was actually thinking of resurrecting Man of Science, um, and I'm having no problem with the science end. I'm having part, a problem integrating the jokes in there. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. However, um, for those of you that care, uh, Scientific American November uh, issue is kick-ass. And there's just great, great stuff there about everything. But one of the coolest things is that, and I had no idea about this, and I bet you there's a bunch of people in uh, chemistry and physics and medicine uh, that are really into their fields that don't know about this, there are 50 operating magnetic resonance imaging machines, uh, NMR machines, nuclear magnetic resonance machines. You know those big things they have in the hospital with the big magnets? That are the size of a large toaster that operate on basically 100 watts, like an incandescent light bulb of power. They're totally mobile. They're already out there. The technology has existed since 1949 to do this, but nobody's done it. It was like a, something that, well, basically, uh, we didn't think really would work, uh, but, but we finally figured out someone decided to try it and, and do it. It's kind of like PCR. Uh, polymerase chain reaction was uh, possible for 15 years before Kerry Mollusk, uh, the Nobel Prize winner, actually uh, discovered that it was possible. Well, this has been possible uh, and known that it could be done, but no one has actually done the technology. What's really cool about it is they're, they're uh, thinking of putting these in ambulances because they're really light. They don't require a lot of power. And uh, they're using them to uh, visualize uh, artwork uh, going uh, beneath the surface there. Uh, they have a lot of practical applications. 
And it's just like a miracle because, uh, at least to me, uh, I didn't expect something like this uh, to be actually out there uh, for decades. And so, um, very, very cool stuff. Uh, there's other articles. I gave my copy away to a really sharp student of mine who I tutor. But there's other issues about the AIDS virus, two uh, articles, one about a vaccine and one about treatment. Really good. And by the way, as far as Scientific American goes, uh, you don't have to be a science whiz to understand it. I mean, it's kind of uh, watered down. And if you go ahead and, and purchase it or look at it in the library, my recommendation is look at the illustrations first before you read the articles. Uh, because it will give you a really good idea of what's going on um, and makes it much, much easier to, to follow that. Uh, last thing, um, actually having fun making this video, I haven't done it in a while. Um, one of the channels I really like, which is a little heavy in the science, but it's just totally cool, is called, um, let me take a look here. Oh yeah, it's called Niels Bohr's Lecture. They're high definition, they're like an hour long lecture with slides and everything. Uh, and, um, well, for those of you that know, the one I just watched was just kick-ass the other day about metamaterials. So those are materials that bend light in the opposite way. They refract light in the opposite way that normal materials do, and you can make a cloak of invisibility. It's already been done at both visible and uh, radar uh, wavelengths. Uh, really, really cool stuff. I've already read up on this. And this wouldn't be for everybody. This you would need some background because it's higher level stuff. But if you're into science, and some of you have got to be, whoa, uh, that I think you'll really like it. Anyway, so my recommendations are um, the Scout Report. I'll put the link up. Uh, Miro, uh, really great software. Uh, read Scientific American uh, November issue if you're at all into the science. It's kick-ass. And uh, you can do a search for the Niels Bohr Lectures if you're really, really a science nerd. And, um, and maybe even Man of Science will come back if I can figure out how to make some funny jokes. And Alan, I'm working on one about boobs because I know you have a growing interest in them. Take care, folks.